It's good to have us again. We've been on a series of teaching on the kingdom. How many of you have been blessed by the kingdom series? Teaching us how to understand the system of God and to walk in harmony with his ways and his principles. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'll not be talking on the kingdom series. We still have one or two topics to cover under the kingdom series. Hallelujah. We'll still be talking about the culture of the kingdom. And then we'll end it with um, what theologians call, help me sound, eschatology. Hallelujah. Eschatology is the study of the end times. Hallelujah. It gives us a panorama of the whole activities that surround the end time. The Bible says how that John was speaking. He said, I, was, I, John, was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And he was caught up and he began to see several things. And he was given an instruction. He said, write the things that were, the things that are, and the things that will happen thereafter. Hallelujah. And he began to write a letter to the seven churches across Asia Minor, which are it's a prophetic symbolism of the entire span of the church age. Hallelujah. And then in chapter 4, he said, I heard a voice and he said unto me, come up hither and I will show you the things that will happen thereafter. And then we read about the vials and the plagues and the manifestation of the angels. Hallelujah. Then we begin to study about several things, what people call the tribulation, how that the kings of Gog and Magog, according to the revelation that was given to Daniel, he had a figure standing made of clay, made of bronze, and made of steel. You know, all of these things were representing the dispensation of different kings. Hallelujah. We we'll take our time to discuss what these prophetic things mean because if all we know is how to reign in life alone without knowing the future of the church then we have all men most miserable hallelujah we need to understand the future of the church age and then we study how that the bible says there was 30 minutes in heaven we we'll also try to um, answer the question of um, the pre tribulation mid tribulation or post tribulation manifestation hallelujah the concept of rapture is there an event in the bible called rapture hallelujah and then we'll get to talk about what will happen the millennial reign of christ and how that satan through the instrumentality of the antichrist will be let loose and will deceive many and torture believers the bible gives us an understanding of a mark and um an activity of satan upon people and he called it the number he coded it and he called it 666 what is the concept of 666 what's the mystery behind 666 hallelujah and is the antichrist alive right now who is the antichrist what is his government like hallelujah we'll begin to trace the government of the antichrist from cain and then we'll consider the mystery of babel the tower of babel and then we'll come to babylon and egypt and we'll run a a line beginning to help us understand the structure of the antichrist government hallelujah and then we'll discuss about the two witnesses hallelujah people say it's moses and elijah is that true or not we'll find out when we are discussing that statement then the destruction of babylon the bible begins to speak about babylon talks about a harlot who sits upon a horse holding wine that was the cup of the matthias hallelujah then there was a shout and he said babylon the great is falling her and all the kings of the earth who have made merchandise and have benefited from a hollow tree then the bible tells us about four horses and certain people that were seated on those horses and the bible tells us that death was one of the spirits that was sitting upon the horse i'll be proving to you that hell is not just a location hell is a spirit hallelujah death is a spirit the Bible says how that death, hell, and the grave will be defeated and will be cast into the lake of fire. We'll see the difference between hell fire and the lake of fire. Hallelujah. And then when Satan is bound, the thousand year, the millennial reign of Christ, what does that mean to the church? Then the last battle of Armageddon, when all the kings of the east will set themselves against God's Israel. Hallelujah. And then Revelations 19 begins to give us a picture of one upon a white horse. 
hallelujah how that a double-edged sword will proceed from his mouth and will cause a great slaughter then the bible ends with what we call the great white throne judgment hallelujah what is the difference between what we call judgment day and the great white throne judgment because the bible makes us to understand that there are two kinds of judgments and then the eternal destiny of the saints hallelujah this will be um i hope that we'll consider that the next time but for now we're not going to be taking that teaching i want to just help us understand the scripture that god laid in my heart and then we'll pray hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our god some days ago the lord showed me a vision and um I saw a stream flowing and as the stream was flowing it began to separate itself into different channels and I saw how that there were different treasures in the channels and people were running to one and then to another running to one and to another and I just stood watching hallelujah and then I found out that other people were some of the um, they were like fruits from one of the stream I don't know I've never seen a stream delivering fruits hallelujah but then some people will eat it and will enjoy certain levels of divine health but I found out that they were not happy they were not joyful and then I saw others who will drink from a stream and then they'll just begin to laugh laugh in the spirit hallelujah and then I had a loud voice and he said unto me all the streams are necessary and that was all all the streams are necessary hallelujah and then i began to ponder on this scripture because when god speaks to me if i don't understand i just keep quiet hallelujah and then god began to teach me something about the operation of the spirit and how that lots of believers have not been able to experience the fullness of the activity of the spirit in their life because we do not understand how to place a demand on his multifaceted dimensions and that's what i'm going to be teaching tonight hallelujah so let your heart be open because this teaching is very prophetic tonight and i trust that we'll pray as i teach there will be all kinds of impartations just coming the spirit of wisdom and revelation hallelujah let's start with um isaiah isaiah 11 isaiah 11 Please make sure you came with something to write. If you didn't, just find your neighbor. I told you that we teach the word here. So when you come, come with something to write. Lord, let your word come with power. Let it come with grace. In the name of Jesus. I sense that there is an operation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. There is a strong operation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. A strong operation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. A strong operation of the spirit of wisdom. And revelation Paul said for this cause I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and understanding said the eyes of your understanding being enlightened flooded with light that you will see cause our eyes to see oh God it takes the spirit of god to grant us illumination into the world for the bible says when jesus rose up from the dead there were two men who were walking with him on their way to emmaus although he was the miracle worker the savior the one who was the talk of the town they were with him but they could not recognize because their eyes were closed and the bible says when he sat at table with them and break the bread then their eyes were opened every time there is the breaking of the bread there is a release of the spirit of revelation causing our eyes to see things that the ordinary man cannot see job said there is a part where the eyes of the vulture has not seen 
and a road where the lion has not trodden upon and that's our desire to press into those realms that will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the night say amen, amen. isaiah 11 verse 1 and there shall come forth a rod please can you increase the volume and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots he said the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord and it shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the lord and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither reprove after the hearing of his ears hallelujah the bible in isaiah chapter 11 gives us what we call in the church environment this manifestation of or the seven spirits of god hallelujah now when we talk about the seven spirits of god we're not talking about seven different spirits hallelujah we're talking about the complete manifestation of the spirit for the number seven in the realm of the spirit is a prophetic number for perfection and wholeness and completion hallelujah he used seven days to create man in the seventh day god rested hallelujah so the number seven stands for perfection and completion the seventh angel in revelation chapter 11 verse 15 sounded his trumpet and there were voices saying the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our god and of his christ and he shall reign so seven symbolizes the number of perfection seven lampstands seven candlesticks hallelujah seven prophetic manifestations of the spirit and so the bible here tells us that the spirit of the lord what is the spirit of the lord the spirit of the lord stands for the word lord there is it, it refers to the spirit of dominion are you following me now the spirit of the lord talks about that dimension of the holy spirit that postures your spirit in a way and a manner that you begin to manifest in the power and the authority of the kingdom that's the dimension of the holy spirit that causes the word of god to come alive in you and you begin to function in a dimension of authority called exousia the capacity to stand and legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven hallelujah there is an operation of the spirit that is quickened and furnished in your person that causes you to comprehend the word of god brings you to a position where you begin to understand your rights and your privileges in christ are you following me now and you begin to see that he has given me authority over snakes and scorpions it's the manifestation of that spirit that causes that dimension of the world to be quickened in you so that you can stand and decree and declare the bible says that ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established hallelujah daniel 11 chapter uh, chapter 11 verse 32 says they that know their god he said they shall be strong and they shall do exploits so there is a manifestation of that spirit it's called the spirit of the lord the spirit of dominion the oppression of the holy ghost that causes you to walk in tremendous realms of authority and power and there are many believers who have had access and they can stand and legislate on behalf of heaven hallelujah and they look at a door and command that door to be closed and the door is opened and then they can look at a situation and command the effort be opened and is opened commanding authority over territories and nations they can stand and legislate on behalf of continents and territories and speak over africa and say be opened there is a an operation of the holy spirit that brings you to that level he shows you by his word and he empowers you to walk in the reality of that world hallelujah then the spirit of wisdom and of understanding the bible says in the book of proverbs it said doth not wisdom cry hallelujah it personifies wisdom it said get wisdom get understanding hallelujah the spirit of wisdom that is
that's another activity of the Holy Ghost that he begins to furnish in your person he brings you to a level where you begin to comprehend the ways of God the wisdom of God is his word his ways he teaches you how to walk in the ways and the path of God he said thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path and so there is an activity of the Holy Ghost that causes the word of God to begin to guide you you begin to make intelligent decisions after the character of the kingdom hallelujah wisdom is to know what to do understanding is to know how to do it the steps to take wisdom is to know what to do hallelujah but understanding tells you how to do it and that's why the bible says in all thy getting even if you come to a point where you know what to do you need to know how to do it hallelujah wisdom is to know that you make fried rice by bringing rice and bringing what again all of those things tomatoes liver and so on and so forth understanding is to know how to combine the ingredients are you following me now so you can have wisdom enough to go to the market understanding tells you that when only one person is eating you don't put a handful of salt are you following me now wisdom tells you salt is required to make the food tasty but understanding begins to guide you through the processes and the steps he said in all thy getting get understanding so there is the activity of the holy ghost that brings you to a point where you know god's ways and you understand how to take steps and get that result it's an operation of the holy spirit and then there is the spirit of the of counsel and might the spirit of counsel and my Paul prayed a prayer he said I pray that you be strengthened in your inner man that's the operation of the spirit of might he brings you to a point where you walk in tremendous strength and ability grace and stamina for the journey are you following me now physical and spiritual strength that was a dimension of the Holy Ghost that was at work in Samson I hope you know that Samson was not a macho man otherwise Delilah would not be asking him for the secret of his strength there was an activity an operation of the spirit of might upon him I'm sure he was like me hallelujah so don't take us for granted there is an activity of the Holy Ghost <laughs> I understand how God created me that's why I don't look for trouble I prefer to speak the word <laughs> hallelujah the spirit of counsel the Bible says you shall hear a voice from behind saying to you this is the way Isaiah 30 walk ye in it the counsel of the spirit David said in the I mean I'm um, um, Daniel he said in the night time in the night time when men sleep then the spirit of God begins to communicate the counsel of And then there is the spirit of knowledge the word knowledge there is not just the word is the word epignosis the highest dimension of knowledge hallelujah it's not knowledge that is as a result of experience it's knowledge that is an impartation from the spirit knowledge that is beyond your age beyond your level of exposure beyond your intellect it's a dimension of knowledge hallelujah that's the manifestation of the Holy Spirit that causes what we call the word of knowledge. When you walk up to someone and say your name is this and that, I know you from this and that, you do not have any personal I mean, you, any personal relationship with the person, hallelujah. But by the operation of that spirit, you can comprehend certain things. Hallelujah. That was the spirit that was at work in Daniel that made him 10 times better hallelujah and then he says the spirit and of the fear of the Lord that word in Hebrew or that phrase in Hebrew is Yirat Adonai the spirit of reverence doesn't talk about fear in our sense of fear but the spirit of reverence there is an activity of the Holy Spirit that comes upon you that causes you to revere him so after singing I am a friend of God I am a 
dear friend of God you know you come to a point where you think you begin to rub shoulders with God and then the spirit of reverence comes upon you Isaiah had that manifestation from chapter 1 he began to prophesy and then in chapter 6 he said in the year that King Uzziah died I Isaiah saw the Lord he was high and lifted up he said the train of his robe filled the temple there was an impartation of the spirit of reverence hallelujah and that's one manifestation that many people in the church age do not have that's the reason why people can bribe and cheat in church people can do all kinds of things and you wonder do these people really fear god why don't you say do these people really have knowledge fear god the spirit of reverence coming to a point where you don't just believe in god you respect him hallelujah now let me tell you something when you get born again and the spirit of god comes understand this the holy spirit comes upon you but i want you to know that these manifestations are not experienced automatically this is where my message starts tonight are you following me now as you begin to walk in the spirit the holy ghost causes you to see the dimensions of the holy spirit that are available to be accessed in his word are you following me now every time you study the word you begin to see certain dimensions of the spirit hallelujah and for every time you see the holy ghost begins to put a hunger for the dimension that he wants you to operate are you following me now so as you begin to study suddenly you find out that there is something about the operation of him being the spirit of reverence and as you begin to place a demand in the spirit by praying and by staying in his presence you give him access to begin to reveal that dimension of him in you are you following me now so many believers think the moment you have the spirit you have these sevenfold manifestations no the holy spirit comes upon you but wait for your hunger to place a demand on the dimension of him that you would want him to show you there are several dimensions of him as revealed in scripture and it is the dimension that you place a demand on in the realm of the spirit that you see him revealed to you hallelujah the bible makes us to understand in exodus chapter 31 the bible says when moses received the blueprint of the tabernacle from the mountain the bible says there was a dimension of the holy spirit that came upon an ordinary man called bezalel hallelujah he said i have anointed bezalel and there was an operation of the holy spirit that imparted creativity supernatural insight and creativity in bezalel so that he will build the house according to pattern for he was instructed upon the mount that he would have to build the house according to pattern hallelujah and all the descriptions were given by god meticulously and he needed someone with an unusual operation of the spirit and then the spirit of god came upon bezalel hallelujah so there are several dimensions i hope you know that the holy spirit is god say after me the holy spirit is god many people reduce him to an archangel many people reduce him to a wind or a pentecostal phenomenon no the holy spirit is god he's as vast as god is and so for you to experience his fullness in your life you must search through the world and find out every time the holy spirit operated through a man he didn't operate all his dimensions through one man so when you study through the lives of several people the patriarchs of old one of the things that their lives reveal to us is the dimensions of the holy spirit that can be available are you following me now so that we will follow them who through faith and patience we will begin to place a demand and say holy ghost you operated a strange dimension to a man there was a dimension of wisdom that solomon walked in what is that dimension there was a dimension of the prophetic that david walked in that although he was in the old testament he was able to access realities of the new testament for instance it was david who said the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool that was the activity of the coronation of jesus according to philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to 11 hallelujah how did 
page it see these things in psalm 100 he said something he said enter his gates with thanksgiving how did david know that the court of god had gates he said and into his courts with praises the prophet began to speak in isaiah he said i will give you a garment of praise how did he know that praise was a garment in the realm of the spirit he said i will give you a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that you will be called oaks of righteousness the planting of our lord so all of these people through when you study scripture you see the operation of the holy spirit through several people even in the prophetic there were different dimensions of his operation you find out that paul was an apostle peter was an apostle all of these people had unique manifestations of the holy spirit now when you study these things the holy ghost begins to quicken in you the dimensions of him that he wants you to experience and through your hunger and pressing you can begin to place a demand and say spirit of the living god i desire to encounter you as the spirit of creativity and suddenly you begin to see him reveal that operation of himself in you are you following me now this is a powerful revelation that's what the lord was showing me there were different streams the bible says in isaiah in ezekiel chapter 47 how that from the east side of the temple there was a river that began to flow from the temple hallelujah and the bible says that he measured a thousand cubits and he was to my feet and then he measured a thousand cubits and he was to the knees he measured a thousand cubits he was to his chest he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river and he said wherever that river went it caused all the fishes that were dead to come alive these were the operations of the spirit the bible also tells us in the book of genesis chapter 2 how that there was a river that came out from the east of eden and it parted itself into four dimensions hallelujah these are the manifestations and the operations of the spirit but when we just sit down and feel that all to the holy ghost is praying in tongues no we we need to begin to place a demand on several dimensions of him that will be required to accomplish the tasks that are before us for there is no man who can do anything outside of the spirit of god the bible makes us to understand that a supernatural grace for leadership and administration came upon a man called joseph and he was able to administrate and save a nation from famine these are all the operations of the spirit that are available to us hallelujah that's the reason why you can find someone working in kingdom authority making decrees but making absolutely foolish decisions because we have crippled the operation of the holy spirit by stereotyping him to only the spirit of dominion hallelujah and then we have others who will not walk in dominion but will walk in great wisdom and in understanding we must experience the fullness of the spirit by searching our lives to see the dimensions of him that we have not allowed to begin to find expression and to begin to place a prophetic demand on those dimensions and Jimmy shared a scripture some days ago and i've been meditating on that scripture hallelujah great servant of god with an awesome teaching grace and he began to share how that do you know that the first manifestation of the holy spirit in the bible was not as one who will call sons into glory but as the spirit of creativity the first manifestation of the holy ghost in the bible the first manifestation of the word in the bible was not for healing it was for creativity the first manifestation of the father in the bible was for creativity isn't that amazing that gives us a picture of god's original desire for us because at that time man had not fallen man had not even been created all the other functions of the holy spirit had to evolve as a result of the needs and the fall of man if man never fell we will never know god as savior i hope you know that so the fall of man although it was bad but it gave us an opportunity to see the vastness and the multifaceted dimension that exists in this deity called god so in him is the creator in him is the savior in him 
is the redeemer in him is wisdom in him is understanding and that's why he told Moses I am that I am when you begin to experience all of these multifaceted dimensions of the Holy Spirit it brings you to a point where you become a true worshiper because then you understand that he is big then you can sing that song you are bigger than what we say 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 you are bigger than what we say say you cannot call him big if all you have experienced is just the spirit of dominion until you say oh taste and see that the lord is good place a demand on every dimension and of the operation of the spirit that you have not seen at work in your life and i've been praying this scripture i said lord manifest in me as a spirit of creativity the bible talks about men coming up with witty inventions as a result of the operation of the spirit you know what this teaching helps you so that whenever you are taking your journey through life you will know what dimensions of the holy spirit are responsible for commanding certain breakthroughs when you need to make a wise decision you don't need him to manifest as the spirit of the lord you need him to manifest as the spirit of counsel and might and the lord showed me in the vision these strings parting and he told me all of them are necessary in other words you short circuit your spiritual progress and the height to which you can attain in the spirit when you limit the holy ghost to just one person or one dimension hallelujah he is also called the spirit of prayer and intercession there is an operation there is a dimension of him that supplies grace grace to stay in the place of prayer so that you don't pray for five minutes and just believe that you are finished praying there is an activity of the spirit that's why the psalmist said quicken us and we will call upon your name grant us strength there is an operation of the holy spirit that grants you grace to stay in the journey that's what the bible calls the spirit of might that when you are riding against the trend all kinds of persecution there is an operation that grants you the staying grace he said though he slay me yet will i praise him Job's wife said curse god and die and he said why do you talk like one of these stupid women an activity of the holy spirit that gives you stamina through the storm and men look at you riding through something that is killing others and like job you said though he slay me yet will i praise him and men look at you and say what kind of strength are you standing with what operation of the spirit is making you stand when you should compromise there is an energy it comes from the greek word energes to energize to supply with power an activity of the spirit because as you begin to rise there are all kinds of things that happen to you that was the operation that was at work in people like Stephen when they were about to matire him in spite of all of that persecution he looked at them and said forgive them the only one that prayed the same prayer that Jesus prayed and although they were stoning him there was a staying grace the Bible says his face lit like that of an angel and Stephen full of the Holy Ghost many believers are not able to stand through situations because we have not placed a demand on that dimension of the Holy Spirit that supplies grace in that area of need hmm. so people just look at you and say ah a Jimmy a Jimmy is not a real man of God exposed he doesn't he's not ordinary forget about all these things you are seeing and then you begin to cry and say God I will not do again oh nah you need to pray and place a demand on that dimension of the Holy Spirit that gives you strength for the journey. And then the voice of God will come, Lo, I am with you. Always. It is a always. It's a always. Hallelujah. 
It's my desire that we experience the fullness of the person of the Holy Spirit. That we come to a point where we can tap into his multifaceted dimensions. And then we begin to rule and reign. And when you are hard pressed, like Paul, you say we have been pressed. And then they see you smiling through a storm that should kill people. You know what dimension of the spirit to operate. When people begin to persecute you on account of righteousness, you begin to pray and say, thank you. There is strength in my inner man. I am energized by the spirit. When your parents look at you and say, I'm sure you'll be a failure. You are a stupid person. They call you, they say, idiot, where is he? Humanly speaking, it has the tendency to demoralize your psychology, but not when the spirit of might is at work in you. You will smile through something that should demoralize you, and you see it as a challenge. And you say, it does not yet appear what we shall be like. I will sing all the mercies of the Lord. The saints of old made themselves guinea pigs to reveal to our generation the dimensions of the Holy Spirit that are available. But can I tell you something? There are other dimensions that they have not seen that our generation will open up to the body. There are certain dimensions of the Spirit that have not yet been experienced even by the patriarchs. That's the reason why we must stay sensitive because times will come when we will see certain operations of the spirit that we, if we are not careful, we will not agree with because it does not meet our traditional and our religious regimens. Stephen revealed, I mean, um, Philip revealed something about the spirit. The Bible says how that the spirit transported him. That's an operation of the Holy Spirit that our generation at a time will place a demand on. Hmm. Everything you see scattered in scripture and that the Holy, there are certain things that the Holy Ghost begins to incubate in your spirit and at first you will be afraid because you cannot find a scripture to back it. But as you study and as you progress in your work with the Spirit, you begin to find out that although you may not see it yet, it is consistent with the universal character of God. These are archives and all, some of them are futuristic. The church may not begin to work in them corporately. But a time will come when God will compel you to begin to place a demand. I hope you know that every dimension of the Holy Spirit was first opened by somebody. Hallelujah. And so the Holy Spirit is telling us that we have been underutilizing His person. We have been underutilizing His ability. Our concept of His manifestation in our lives has been reduced to just miracles and tongues. But there is more to this person called the Holy Spirit. Our paracletos, our standby, advocate, strengthener. He said, that which I speak to you in the secret, declare thou on the mountaintop. Hallelujah. That's why the saints of old respected him so much. God is calling us to a point where we realize that there are infinite dimensions for access in the spirit. And there are certain things we will never accomplish until we understand that the Holy Spirit can operate in these dimensions. There are several people and ministries that are suffering today because they do not know that the help they need can be accessed in a dimension of the Holy Spirit if they make a demand on that dimension. hallelujah and so I choose to open up myself to every dimension that is available in this person that dimension of him that will supply the staying grace for the journey for many of you who are in ministry or desire to be in ministry you need the staying grace of the spirit that dimension of his person 
because sometimes you will need to stand alone but the spirit of might will empower you you come to a point where you are energized by the workings of his spirit empowered by grace and an anointing that you yourself cannot explain hallelujah and you will run there is an operation of the holy spirit that will grant you speed in life if you if you don't place a demand you will lag and suffer in life the bible makes us understand that when elijah told us he says saddle your ass and run for i hear the sound of the abundance of rain and then he went back he was delayed but the bible makes us to understand that the hand of the lord came upon elijah every time you hear the hand of the lord that's the operation of the spirit and it caused elijah strength and grace came upon elijah and then elijah began to run how many of you have seen people under the anointing and they do things with such speed that you know they cannot do humanly many of us cannot see beyond the manifestations that this is an operation of the holy spirit that is available when we place a demand that's why i said the hand of zerubbabel that's if that operation of the holy spirit is at work you will start a project and finish it with a dimension of speed that you cannot explain whether a building project whatever it is i tell you the truth these are some of the dimensions that god has shown us by grace and we have put it to work and the results are even getting us scared because we realize that these are the riches that's why the bible says in him dwells all fullness and you can begin to tap into different dimensions of that fullness hallelujah and it's our job to bring you tonight to that understanding that the fact that you are filled with the holy spirit hear me is no guarantee that things will you will automatically begin to experience these dimensions of him that's why we call koinonia a place of intimacy and what partnership there must be a participation in the spirit so could it be that this teaching tonight is revealing to you the answer to your prayers and say lord how come i'm not just creative and the lord the holy spirit is saying i am available if you will beckon on this dimension of me i will cause you to come up with things that will amaze you hallelujah there is a dimension of the holy ghost that comes upon you and causes you to walk in divine health it doesn't just happen just because you are confessing the word the bible makes us to understand that if that same spirit that raised jesus hold on there is a revelation hallelujah there is, why did he use raising jesus from the dead paul prayed a prayer that you comprehend the kind of power and energy that was exerted when the christ was raised from the dead and he said if that same spirit that can cause a decaying body hallelujah a decaying body by all biological standards in an instant breathe life and quicken that body to come alive if that same spirit that means if that same operation of the holy spirit is permitted to be activated in your life then that same spirit will cause a quickening if you want to do ministry you had better know the holy spirit as a quickening spirit otherwise you collapse on the stage and die one day that's why sometimes you see us walk and wonder where is this energy coming from there is a supernatural operation of the spirit for it is not by power it is not by might it's by my spirit right after this meeting we are going for a vigil stretching through till the morning and we have other activities what gives us this confidence all through i don't know any of us that have slept today we have been working since morning hallelujah but we can take advantage of this supply of his dimension and we can say spirit of god although my flesh is weak i trust your enabling grace he's the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings 
Jazz of hope, Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come. You're changing everything in obedience to Christ. That was the activity of the Holy Spirit that brought the miracle to our brother, God's servant. Hallelujah. Brought a quickening when you tap into the dimension of the Spirit. Things are not working well in your family. There's, there's no point sitting down to say whatever will be, will be. Oh God said, we think about demons, we think about Satan, we discuss about them rather than searching from the world. What dimension of the Holy Ghost? And the best way is to find out in the Bible, where did they face my kind of problem? How did the solution come? It revealed an operation of the Spirit that I can tap into. For Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. If a dimension was accessed in him, that that dimension is still available unto us. There were men who were in famine. What dimension of the spirit did they access that granted them authority to say by this time tomorrow? People are crying and ranting of recession. And I tell you there is a supply of the spirit that can bring you to a point of freedom. What did Jacob do by the well that caused animals to look at black wood and begin to mate and their children come with the thought of what kind of technology, what manifestation of the spirit was supplied at that point? What dimension of the Holy Ghost was quickened in David that brought him to a point where God could call him his friend? That's why the word of God is there for us. It's not for you to cram scriptures so that you can get a nice message. It's for you to begin to search. Search out in the spirit. And when you find it, you hold on to it and say, Lord, I have found the dimension of the Holy Ghost that will create a supply for the situation that is killing me. And that's why the Bible says, the entrance of thy word give it light. You hear us shout every time the word the word because as you stay with the word there is a brooding of the spirit he knows what dimension of you that he needs that's why sometimes when you are studying the bible he tells you okay get up and begin to pray and you're praying in tongues and scriptures are coming jeremiah 17 verse 9 you're writing you're praying he's showing you what supply of his person will bring you the miracle you need when you fight it you will command authority let me tell you when you find it you have found it the anointing from that scripture will come upon your life has no respect for your age has no respect for your gender there is a dimension of the spirit that moves solomon to offer a sacrifice that compels something about god the Bible says Solomon offered a thousand bond offerings. Do you know what one thousand bond offerings are? It's not ordinary. You can be in a situation and you are dying of it and the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might will just come and breathe upon you. And he will tell you, go to the Bible and you find out where certain operations of the spirit were done. And you say, now, Go and sow this seed to so 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 person and watch the wonder working power of God. You are not just sowing seeds, you are responding to an operation of the Spirit. Are you understanding what I'm teaching? It's the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might. For every operation in the kingdom. It takes the supply of the spirit hear me friends is vain to attempt to do anything in the kingdom without the Holy Ghost he is the lifeline the one who connects us with victory in the spirit that's why we totally depend on his person imagine if we had to use our intellect how much do we know in ourselves but for the supply of the spirit brings a dimension of wisdom a dimension of grace 
a dimension of power a dimension of favor a dimension of glory and beauty and honor and dominion and authority and access how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind is power at work in you changing everything that's what god is doing tonight in obedience to christ he's changing everything it's vain to try to do god's things without understanding how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind it's power at work in me changing everything in obedience to Christ Shapa Kappa Kadia changing everything in obedience to Christ you're the Holy Ghost you're the Holy Ghost Spirit of the living God
God, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of the self. Holy Spirit, you place it in my hand. 
We do it willingly. We do it willingly. The nations will know that we fear the Lord. The nations will know from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. His banner will rise in our midst. There is a shout of the king in the midst of his people, and he will be exalted. The emergence of champions. Men who understand the ways of God. Men who understand the the operation of the spirit. Come on, you are praying. You are praying. You are praying. You are praying. You came tonight for serious business. A loss is a loss with that sickness, that terminal disease. Come into the spirit of resurrection. The oppression of the spirit of resurrection. Come on, pray. Enough of demonic oppression. Enough. Every supply is in the person of the Holy Ghost. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. He is the blessing. I will never be the same. I came tonight for my destiny. I came tonight for my life. I didn't come to preach. I came to bless a demand. I came to bless a demand. I came to bless a demand. Let the nations know that your God is alive. Let the nations know that your God is alive. Stop tolerating things. Change them. Place a demand on the operation of the spirit that will command that level of victory. Enough is enough. Hey, you came tonight for Koinonia. God is upgrading your life. You will never be the same. So when we walk in His ways, we can the Spirit. We are the victorious generation. Tell me, we are rising. I'm telling you, you are rising. You are changing. You are changing. You are not the same. You are changing. You are changing by the Holy Ghost. You are changing. You are changing. I like you to see it in the spirit. You are changing. You are not the same. You are not the same. There is a release of the spirit. There is a supply. This teaching has granted you access to begin to operate. Oh, you're my God. Oh, you're my God. Oh, you're my God. 
strong manifestation of the spirit hallelujah are you ready to begin to speak over your life right now? Oh. are you ready to begin to command the bible says where the word of a king is there is power hallelujah. hear me hear me hey. you're not just speaking alone you're speaking in partnership hallelujah. with the holy ghost you're speaking in partnership hey. with the holy ghost hallelujah for the next few minutes i'd like you to radically speak god's word send it to your life address issues if you need to carry your bible carry your bible but begin to speak change change i command change greater grace in my finances according to the word of the lord my path is as a shining light I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm rising, showing the anointing, stepping into new dimension of the spirit, I'm stepping into greater levels of grace, ENI is coming to a new level of power, a new level of prosperity. I decree in the name of Jesus, I am the head, I am not the tail. Oh, hallelujah. I am a host. I am not beneath. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed. I am blessed. I am blessed. The blessing is upon me. The blessing is upon me. I refuse to die. I refuse to die. I stay alive, serving the truth for God. I'm above every demon. I'm above Satan. I'm above sickness. I'm above poverty. I am above. I am above. I come from above. I am above all. I come from above. I come from above. I come from above. I hail from Zion. I come from above. The lights are falling in pleasant places. The lights are falling in pleasant places. The energy of the spirit is at work in me. I keep moving forward by the spirit, forward in ministry, forward in business. Grace and glory, the supply of the spirit, wisdom unlimited, power unlimited, knowledge unlimited. Prosperity unlimited, preservation unlimited. the family one minute God has been bracing us up let me tell you something we are entering fearful dimensions of the spirit of grace of result of power my friend sent me a text from Lagos and he said the Lord told me to tell you that the economy of this land the economy of this land will literally be handled by the members of ENI I don't have any ministry by us it's a word that came from my friend in Lagos but this is how we brace up this is how we brace up so we are going to pray you're going to pray and say everything that is not of God we take it away command increase command victory come on go ahead and pray greater miracles greater transformation the word of God is being taught we are not derailed in the name of Jesus we cast arrogance we cast fear we are rising hey by the spirit by the spirit the supply of the spirit pray for the ministers pray for the heads of the party by the spirit greater grace greater prosperity greater power greater miracles direction from the spirit the enabling grace in the name of Jesus Oh, 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 oh,
finances and that of our family members are you listening to me it's our goal in this place that the least person here will be empowered so that we don't talk about money we do other things are you following me there are other very important things in the kingdom it's amazing every church you go to they are talking about money 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 satan is distracting us with our needs and we forget our assignments but we are going to pray we are going to say not this place there is a shout of a king go ahead and pray for yourself command increase prophesy speak over your family many of our families are suffering come on pray enough is enough we place a demand that spirit that was upon Isaac that made him so in the land where there was famine that spirit that was upon Solomon that made him the richest man that spirit that was upon Job that made him the richest man in the east enough is enough this is the wealthy place according to Psalm 66 verse 12 thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we went through fire but thou hast brought us into our wealthy place thou hast brought us into our wealthy place pray Psalm 66 verse 12 pray Psalm 66 verse 12 thou hast brought us into our wealthy place the land of plenty we have enough to feed the poor we have enough to do the works of the kingdom we refuse to beg for money we refuse to be in need the lord is our shepherd we are not in one the lord is our shepherd he is our bread provider we speak unto you Job said as for the earth out of it comes bread we command the goodness of this land to flow to us the goodness of the land because we are willing and we are obedient we eat the good of the land we eat the good of the land favor from the north favor from the south favor from the east favor from the west Favor, favor, favor by the Spirit, favor by the mercy of God, favor by the grace of God, the oil of favor, the oil of favor, overtaking you, overtaking you more than enough, more than enough for our first project, more than enough for everything we need to do more than enough more than enough we are stepping into abundance the kingdom advances in the name of 
of Jesus. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. You're going to pray and prophesy to yourself. Hallelujah. This is what I hear in the spirit. The Lord is saying, tell them to prophesy. That is your season of light. The Bible says, in your light, we see light. Hallelujah. He said they looked up to him and their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed. For when there is light, there is no stumbling. When there is light, there is precision. There is accuracy. It's a time of light. Light. Go ahead and pray. I'm rising. Prophesy. I'm rising in the light of God. The light of His glory. The light of His countenance. The light of His power. I arise in light. I prophesy in light. I teach in light. I minister in light. I reign in light. I run in light. I fly in light. God is that light. His word is that light. In your light, I see light. In your light, I see light. Hey! I move in light. I grow in light. Hallelujah. Let me friends. You will be amazed to see the kind of transformations that are happening to you. You cannot be the same, no. You will begin to reign as a citizen of the kingdom. You will command victory that will scare you. Why? Because you are aligning yourself to the lifestyle and the operation of heaven. For when we know his ways and we can hear his voice and we are diligent to obey, he will set us above. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. He says, it shall come to pass in that day that when you hearken to the voice of the Lord to do all that I have commanded you this day he said that I will set you on high and this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you it's a new season Psalm 66 verse 12 thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we pass through water and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place We will walk in an avalanche of miracles. Impossible miracles. They are only beginning. It's by the supply of the Spirit. When men ask you. And say what in the world is happening to you. You tell them it's by the Spirit. I believe in the ministry of the Holy Spirit. He can change a man. He can change a people. And it's his presence is at work in this place and so we thank you Holy Spirit thank you for your help indeed you have been a help unto us we depend totally on you we depend absolutely on you without you we can do nothing hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, throughout this week, I want to encourage you. Don't just study on the Holy Spirit. Study on your partnership with Him. Are you listening to me? Get Yongicho's book, The Holy Spirit, My Senior Partner, by David Yongicho. Get other books. Like a mighty rushing wind by Meltari. 
get books about the spirit by Kenneth Hagin and then study it from the Bible sit down and study hear me write down the areas of your life you are tired of and you need change study God's word and find out where in the Bible they experience those kinds of problems is it finances look for all the scriptures you can find about the stories of famine and hardship and lack this is an assignment for everybody we are students of the kingdom hallelujah if you are struggling with sickness that's it. find it study about Job. hallelujah if you think you are being relegated in the background so that nobody even values you study how did jesus rise from a poor nazarene to a world figure i listen to me so this week is not the week of visitation traveling up and down say, ah we are free of you could know that's the time to stay with the world hallelujah stay with the world don't forget i know that sometimes we can look emotional now but when we step out of here we just stay with the world are you listening to me stay with the word don't just pray open your bible and study it how amiable are your laws oh lord they are my meditation all day long go and get tapes jordan bookstore is there buy the truth get it go to the media library get books on the ministry of the holy spirit how you can align yourself with him hallelujah get books about people how they started their ministry books that talk about the history of people let me tell you something look up concentrate on how people got victorious not their current results are you listening to me many of us are too carried away by results kai if you come for communion you see how how did the people align themselves every time you see a man walking in glory and power and any dimension you desire stop chasing results start chasing the process what did he do how did he align himself with the spirit hallelujah you see someone commanding on ending favor the person must have taught something no matter what price you have to pay find out hallelujah sometimes we play in our house messages of different ministers and men of god that we, that we desire to step into their reality and while we listen there is a transfer there are impartations going on for hours we are listening to messages messages we all have already had but there's something we are contacting for as we behold we are being changed then one day you see something and a reality enters your spirit and then you begin to step in that reality that's why we encourage you and we say get these tapes get these teachings we're not just trying to promote ourselves our promotion comes from god we are giving you for have an 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 um a uh, what do we call it now an opportunity giving you an opportunity to hear god's word until something enters your spirit hallelujah so this week is the time to study about our partnership with the holy spirit study on the dimensions of him that you want to see many of us need to know him as the creative one ha it's been my personal study i've been studying that dimension of him and i will still continue studying when i come back tomorrow i'll get back to work genesis chapter one lord show me something show me something cause my eyes to see what came upon Bezalel? What came upon Bezalel that caused him to begin to flow? As you tap into that dimension of the spirit, instantly you begin to see the result. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for tonight. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you because you are faithful. We give you all the praise because you are changing us. I pray, Lord, that tonight's message will stay in our spirits. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because in this atmosphere there is no sickness. We have zero tolerance for sickness. Zero tolerance for every oppression. Zero tolerance for 
failure and poverty we walk in the fullness of everything that Jesus Christ died to give us and Lord we thank you that even as we study from your word cause our eyes to experience a dimension of light that will open us up to new operations of the spirit and give us the grace to place a demand on those dimensions and see them at work in our lives hallelujah you may need to get tapes hear me you may need to get tapes of certain people that have operated in the spirit of certain things that you desire and play those tapes as you're listening as the tapes are playing even if you are not listening to the message just stay and soak in that glory and you are praying Kapo Lord let something enter into me and the spirit will enter you you will not even know something has happened until you rise up suddenly to find out that doors that would not open will begin to open are you getting blessed tonight Lord we give you praise lift up your hands and tell him thank you we bless you we bless you Lord thank you because we step into supernatural realms the nations will know that we call upon you and that we fear you. Lord, keep making us relevant. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 